So we tested the get request now with Postman. Let's try and test the post request or the create. We want to create something, right? That's the first part of the CRUD setup. So what I'm going to do is instead of get, I'm going to select post because you know that to create something, we need to use a post request when we're talking HTTP, right? So when we talk HTTP request, it's a post request to create something. As soon as I switch from get, notice there's this body is grayed out. But when I go to post, it'll be it'll be grayed in, or it'll be shown as, as something I can pick. Now, since I already just pulled out a request, I'm just going to copy this text right here because I'm going to need it as JSON in a second. Then I'm going to switch to the body, and I'm going to select raw here because I want to paste in a JSON object in the body. Now, let's go back to code here. <coughs> the body can be used for you to pass data from one side to the other. So think of the body right here is going to be something like let's call it an envelope or something where you can put in information. So I can take this body right here and I can kind of pass it from one side to the other. Let me just make it a bit smaller. There we go. Um, so I can grab the body and I can send it inside a request and then I can kind of pass it over the wire into the REST API and then can, it can unzip it again. So think of this almost as a zip file or something that you can pass over the net so that the REST API can then grab the data and we use the data for something and then at some point we get back we go to the database we get back and then we send this back as a new body into the postman that we can then present to others right inside the response so let's just remove this again so we're going to use this body to actually put in some data so we need to pick raw and we need to pick json because that's what we're working with we talked about that earlier as well so i'm going to paste in a json object here i'm just going to clean it up a bit there we go now i want to send actually Let's, let's just have a look here. I put in a comma and you got this big X. That's because the string is bad. So you will get validation here if it's actually JSON. And I, you, you do need to remember to get these into quotation marks. Both of them, they're strings. So let's try and send this now to actually create something to the backend. I do a send and I get a reply back here that a bird was actually created. Now, kind of stupid I used the same name, but it doesn't matter. I'll do a get request again. Now I can pick the get here or I can actually go in and just select the get right over here because I already used it before and that's kind of the history here right so I'll click this the get request pops up and I can just do send and I'll get all five of my beautiful wishes back so that was how you can do a post request now things can become complex let me just go back to the post because I could actually in my body have the list of persons that actually contain persons that contain so JSON is rather complex language we can try and do some more complex lines later but this was the very basic creation of a new wish inside Postman with a post request. So that also works. I just proved that by saying give me back the wishes and I just got back my new bird wish that I just created. So see you next time. We will try and edit it. Have fun.